Hi there, um, my name is Simon and this is episode one of season two of Adapt Plugins. Adapt Plugins, for those of you who may not have seen it before, is my um, series where I look at different uh, plugins that exist in the Adapt open source community and give my recommendations of how you can use them in your projects to kind of create more engaging learning experiences and kind of hopefully achieve your client's outcomes. Um, so for this first episode, we're going to be looking at the um, block branching scenario uh, extension. Uh, it's a extension that I'm cre uh, releasing to the open source community today that enables you to create kind of um, scenarios where you can kind of have a learner answer, take a different path based upon the, the answer that they chose and create kind of non-linear learning experiences if you, you know, if you, as a kid, I used to read the um, Ghostbump, Ghost, Goosebumps uh, books and, you know, that kind of experience of being able to branch around um, is a really kind of powerful learning experience. And, um, yeah, this is something I wanted to kind of create for a while. And luckily I had a client project that came up and it was the kind of perfect opportunity to create this and roll it out to the open source community. Um, so yeah, this, um, this client of mine is a um, general practitioner's surgery based in London and um, they are moving online um, and they tasked me with how can we create a learning experience for these GPs where it makes them think about what they're doing and um, choose the right outcome for their patient. And obviously um, being a general practitioner isn't, kind of science there's a lot of nuance in what they do and they wanted to kind of reflect that in the learning experience that they had for their learners um, so yeah this is a scenario that they take and um, there's multiple of these in the course um, that I've created for them but they kind of land on this page here and they're kind of presented with this uh, document which they would get for every single consultation that they had with a patient they kind of read through it and um, gets to an outcome. And obviously there's lots of important things as they go down the page. Um, once they've read that, they start the consult. So they kind of choose um, a choice from here. Um, and obviously, you know, each choice may not necessarily be a good one, but sometimes you can end the scenario early if you do something badly. So here I got something that it says average scenario end, and this isn't reflective of the final content. Like we kind of, I just put this in now to kind of show what kind of results you can get. But um, you may choose to be a bit more nuanced and kind of choose a text or maybe a graphic or something to give the feedback that are based upon if it was a good, you know, a good outcome or a bad outcome. Um, so um, let's start again. I'll try to do it a bit better this time. Again, you know, maybe we missed out something here, so we'd read through, we read through this and kind of pick up anything that's missing. Um, yeah, we get get here and let's let's check the notes for more information. Um, let's go for this one, and yeah, we got a good outcome. So um, yeah, this is obviously reinforcing a better outcome for the learner and making sure that they know what they're doing and of applying the knowledge that they're getting as they um, take the scenario. Um, so what, if you are creating one of these, I would highly recommend uh, creating a mind map for the client. This is something that we did together and it kind of outlines, um, you know, how this is the logic behind what the, the, the branch is going to be because obviously once you start doing these non-linear uh, um, pages, it gets very complex very quickly. So. This is still a fairly straightforward um, scenario with many free questions, but you know it's going to get a lot more complicated very fast. Um, so this is kind of how we did it, and all this content got put into Adapt here, and you just put in um, you know the extension, how you configure the extension is all explained in the on GitHub, um, and this is the multiple endings that you can get as you complete the scenario. Um, so yeah, like, um, yeah, this is the extension here. The, the link to it is below. Uh, you can kind of configure it using these settings here. 
there's also the scenario outcome component, which I'm releasing as well. And uh, this is basically just the final block at the end, which gives the feedback of how they did. Um, yeah, I really hope you get good use of it. If you use this in your own projects, let me know and uh, I'll give you some pointers of how you can make it better. And it'd be great to hear how you find it. Um, yeah, thanks again.